Good afternoon. It has been a dry day for downtown Chattanooga. It's all because of a mistake by an AT&T third-party contractor trying to lay a fiber optic line. He hit a massive water main instead. And that led to a day of bottled water and portable toilets for many downtown workers. News Channel 9's John Plesh was on the scene of the leak right after it broke. He joins us live with the latest. John, is that still causing a problem? Oh, it certainly is, Latricia. I can tell you, as we speak, thousands of Tennessee American water customers from downtown Chattanooga, the south side, over toward Lookout Mountain, even into North Georgia, are either without water right now or they have very low pressure. We are at what you may call ground zero of this problem at the intersection of 14th and Coward Street, where this burst water main continues to spew water into the street toward Main Street and, yes, into those buildings. The intersection in front of Nico's restaurant turns into a lake as people working inside just before the lunch hour noticed the low water pressure. When I looked out and saw the gushing, I didn't expect this. This is, this is beyond imagine. The basements underneath Nico's and several other buildings are getting wetter by the hour. We're in the basement of some of these buildings on Coward Street, and you can see this water is just flowing right out of the walls and ceilings, and it's flooding these basements. So really, it's, it's kind of a wait and see kind of situation, and we really don't know how to move forward at this point. So as the water continues to flow, several intersections along Main Street are flooding too. And this is the culprit, a drilling machine used by Klein Enterprises under contract with AT&T. They were drilling a conduit for a fiber optic line when the drill hit the water pipe. 24 inch uh, pre-stressed concrete line, uh, probably put in in the late 50s, early 60s. And we're back live with you as you watch that water continuing to flow out of that 24 inch water main. Workers with Tennessee American have been trying for hours trying to get that water to stop, but the problem is this is a main line and it sits at such a low elevation in the city that it's going to be very difficult to get all of that to shut off. And until that water flow can be stopped, workers can't even begin the process of digging up the street and getting through all of this torn up earth that's underneath to the pipe and begin the repairs. This looks like this is going to be a long repair that will go well into the night, if not into tomorrow. We'll certainly keep you updated. One note, though, about low water pressure or no water pressure in downtown. The Chattanooga Fire Department has implemented an emergency plan now so that if there is a fire downtown, they have assembled a group of water tanker trucks in the area so they can supply water to back up the pumpers if needed. And there's also another backup plan to that, which would be to actually draw water from the Tennessee River if needed. Of course, let's hope that doesn't happen and let's hope this problem gets solved ASAP. That is the story live from the South Side. I'm John Pless, News Channel 9. All right.